This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle with Bruce Pritchard. Bruce, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm listening to you. Oh, really? Well, you said you're listening to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard, but I'm listening to you. I'm Bruce Pritchard. I'm Bruce. Hello. <laughs> you all right? Hello. <laughs> you okay? Hello, I'm Bruce. You know that story. So, uh, worked with Ozzy Osmore one time in Baltimore, Maryland. And the reason not, because we were just in Baltimore. Uh, and so, Ozzy, man, great guy. Absolutely fucking awesome. Uh, incredibly talented. Uh, super fucking good guy. And we had Ozzy for, uh, he was going to, had a new album coming out, was going to sing his new hit single. Uh, rising on the billboard charts, boys and girls, you're really going to dig this from Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath. Um, but Ozzy was, was there and he was going to do his new hit single, just, you know, rising up the charts by God. And Ozzy came in and Ozzy was absolutely fan fucking tastic. He was great. During the day, came in, did his rehearsal, realized that Ozzy didn't know the words to his new song. So Ozzy had to have a, a, a teleprompter to get him through the lyrics of his new song. Not an ordinary, you know, that's something that a lot of uh, stars do when they're in concert. They go through so many different songs and they'll edit them so they'll have the lyrics on a teleprompter a lot of times. Ozzy was one of those guys. And um, absolutely, again, I, I couldn't, I, he was one of those guys that you'd say, man, give me an Ozzy Osbourne every week. I'll work with him every, every day. He was that good. So then Ozzy left to go back to the hotel to relax. Ozzy came back. I met someone else <laughs> when he came back and, uh, he was a completely different, uh, different cat when he came back and he was eating chicken breast. Okay. Like big fat, juicy chicken breast. And he was picking it up and he was eating the chicken breast and he wanted to say hi to Vince. He kept asking me, is Vince here? I love to say hello. I did the WrestleMania, you know, with four and bulldogs and I like to say Hello. And so I go and grab Vince and say, hey, Vince, Ozzy would love to say hi. We'll bring Vince in. And Ozzy's sitting there. And he's got the chicken breast in his hand, in his right hand. And it's got sauce and shit on it. And Ozzy bites into the chicken. And when he pull, and he sees Vince. And so, like, he goes to pull the chicken out. And his teeth came out. And then he just kind of, like, puts everything back in and then goes to shake Vince's hand with the, the chicken juice and all the stuff all over it, which was again, a high spot for me. Um, but then I'm back there, man. And, 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 and Ozzy and, uh, some of his folks, man, there's a little bit of jealousy in the band and shit. Cause other guys have gone on and done single stuff and solo careers, if you will. But uh, again, for a legendary rock band, I don't think that you could ask for a cooler locker room to be able to just sit and and listen to and talk to all fucking great guys, even when Ozzy came back in a different Ozzy. And so we're getting ready to go do the, uh, the bit I'm going to do with Ozzy. And he was going to do something with Jillian Hall. And Jillian's gimmick was that she was a bad singer, but she thought she was a great singer. And I'm explaining this to Ozzy. And I said, so Ozzy, I said, you know, you've got to kind of look at her like, you know, oh, fuck, man. Uh, basically keep practicing, dear, or something along those lines. And and uh, she's horrible. Well, that's okay, mate. You know what? And he's just got I'm only in words. And, you know, and he, well, if I did. And I said, man, so we're trying to rehearse it. And he's just not getting it. He's not getting what I needed. And we're going live, live in Baltimore 
up on that shit fucking stage and it's it's like I gotta go live with Ozzy. And so I tell Ozzy, I'm looking at him, I go, dude, I said, you know what, man? I just I just need you to be you. I just I just need you to be Ozzy, man. And he looks at me dead in the eye and goes, I'm Ozzy. I'm Ozzy. Yeah, I'm voting Ozzy. And just kept repeating, letting me know, no, I'm Ozzy. As if I was confused now <laughs> at this point. And I was just like that. Because like, oh, I'm putting Bruce. I'm Bruce. I'm Bruce. Bruce, I said, how's it going? How are you? And you launched into an Ozzy story. Is it going to be one of those days? I'm for it. I just want It wanna- is. It said, no, no, no. I, you didn't say, how are you? You said, um, you're listening to. And I said, I was listening to you. I'm Ozzy. Right, Spider? I'm Ozzy. You're not Ozzy. I'm Ozzy. I'm Bruce. You're Connie. Connie? I'm Connie. What? <laughs> Why are you doing oh. the Jim Ross shit? I'm I'm not doing Jim. Oh, fuck you, Jim Ross shit. I'm doing goddamn Ozzy shit. Oh, okay. Why are you going to get hot about Jim? Uh Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.